Hey everybody, Kathy here with Pink Point by Kathleen Miller. How is everybody today? Welcome back to our channel. Uh, we're going to have a little bit of fun here. I have a 9 by 12 canvas today and I have my color place base from Walmart on which is antique white. There's no silicone, there's no water, there's no glue in it. So my colors, I have an array of colors today, which is phalo, turquoise phalo by Golden. This little piggy golden peach. This is bright aqua green by Liquitex. This is uh, this little piggy harvest gold. Quinacridone violet by Golden. And we have azo yellow deep by Amsterdam. Brilliant or Bolivian blue by Primary Elements. This is vat orange by Golden. This is juicy pear Primary Elements and Quinacridone magenta by Golden. Oh, quite so, a variety. And my cell activator is going to be Oxide Black with Australian Floetrol. Okay. We're going to see what happens here. We're just going to have a little fun. Hope everybody's having a great day. By the way, you can get the Australian Floetrol at fluid-art.co. There'll be a direct link in the description box for uh, the Australian Floetrol. You can get the piggies there, too. Yes. Okay, I'm putting this down just a little bit different today. We're gonna see what happens. Yeah, so I'm going to uh, mix up some new colors for tomorrow. And... Oh, that should be fun. It's gonna be fun because you're gonna help me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was afraid of. Oh, well, mm -hmm. Phil, don't worry about it. We always have fun when we mix colors. By the way, all these pigments and paints that Kathy is using today, uh, she uses the same pouring medium. That's in video 478. It's a very simple pouring medium. You'll learn her pouring medium and her cell activator recipe and some other tips and tricks. A direct link is in the description box to get to Kathy's recipe video. Okay, you are doing this a little differently with no, all your I laying the paints. Put, no, I think I'm going to put all my paints down. Okay. Um, now, my middle one. Well, no, no, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to blow this up. Yeah, yeah, I would say if you're going to be putting multiple Yeah, I'm going to blow it blooms, up. So I see how much room I have. Yes. Just got to... Pop a few. Just pop a squat, you know what I mean? That's true. Okay. And everybody, you should know what I'm doing as soon as I have my hair back. It's a dead giveaway. I'm going to be blowing these blooms. Okay. I'll get the oxygen take out. You always have to say that right when I'm first going to blow. It's like, okay, Phil. Well, the other alternative is mouth to mouth resuscitation, which I don't mind at all. I didn't think you would. Okay. As you can see, Kathy is blowing on the cell activator, bringing up some of the colors that were underneath it. Okay, I'm gonna do this one yes. now next. Very nice, vibrant, colorful bloom. Beautiful. I know that's just the start. You've got big plans. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about our big plans, Phil. Yeah, so anyways, that's my day. I'm gonna be making a few more paints. Uh, Got up pretty early today. I was going to do it, but well, that went by the wayside. And I thought, mm, like I don't have enough already made up. <laughs> <laughs> of course I do. Let's take a look. Well, you got a few made up. Yeah. Got to make up a few more. 
Choices, choices, choices. It's always fun making them up. Actually, uh, the last um, class you gave on your on your uh, FaceTime was uh, with a woman who wanted to actually go over a bunch of things with colors. Mm -hmm. And what colors to use, what order to put them down in and so forth. And it was a wonderful class. I really enjoyed listening to it. Yeah, it, that was a lot of fun. And once you get, you know, your order, you can do anything. And then she sent me, because um, we did a creation, and it turned out beautiful. And then she sent me another picture of one that she did on her own. And it was really, really pretty. So if you want a one-on-one -on -one class, head on over to my Etsy shop. and yeah, It's a FaceTime class for an hour. Sign and up. Kathy is an affiliate of KS Resin. You can get a nice discount by using the link and discount code in the description box to get any product uh, that you want from KS Resin. Ooh, those are pretty. Yeah, they are. Very cool. There's that first bloom starting to mature a little bit. There's the second one getting ready to... Pop goes the weasel. Yes. Oh, and you're doing a third one in between. Okay. But we're doing different colors. Oh, that's right. Okay. You're using a different color scheme on this one. All right. Cool. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yes, I am. Kathy does have an Amazon shop that contains most of the supplies you may need for paint pouring. In that shop, she's put, put all the supplies that she uses uh, for her paint pouring. And therefore, you don't have to wade through the whole site of Amazon to kind of find exactly what Kathy uses. It's all in one shop. There's a direct link to Kathy's Amazon shop in the description box. And of course, all her original art is for sale in her Etsy shop. A direct link in the description box to her Etsy shop will get you there also. Oh, those are pretty oh, colors. Yes. I like they use a different color scheme in the middle. That's cool. might be a little dark but we'll see we will see it's okay we'll that just can, get a little black can, out there that can offset the uh, brighter colors on the ends anyway so yeah I don't think that's going to be a problem okay okay there we are so I'm far I'm spin it just a little All bit right. Them expand a little. Sure. See what that does? That really makes them go over the edge. Yes. Okay. Very nice. Now we're going to do a little wreck in here. Get that little dot out of there. Okay. 
So, I think I'll keep quiet for a while while you're doing this. I know you're going to be concentrating. Yes, I am, Phil. I love these colors.
Wow, that's really cool. Not done yet, Phil. Not done yet, okay. No, because I have to put my finishing touch on here. Okay. Yeah, putting that blue bloom in the middle really does help set off those end now, blooms. Now, what I'm going to do is, okay, I'm gonna put my heart up here, but I wanna spin this a little bit first. Yeah, okay. I just wanna pop some of these bubbles. Yeah, I thought by putting uh, a different color in the middle, it would really set off the two end colors. It really does. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna spin this a little. Oh, this is really pretty. Yes. It's very, very pretty. Okay. I think it makes them look so elegant. So now I'm going to put my heart I think like this, but I want to um, have a few go up here because I want these to come down and these to well, come down. So this would be the top of your painting then? Yeah, this is going to be the top of my That's painting That's going to be the here. top. So you, you, okay, you have hearts coming down, then some going that way and some going that way. And then I thought maybe up here. What do you think? Oh, I just said that in the beginning. You have some going in the up, middle? Yeah. And that, yeah, okay. Okay, because that'll tie it in. Yeah. Just gotta make sure I mean, you got I the could, tail. No. I can do a couple here. That's fine. To go off. I think that would be fine to go too. Off, I think it would be well, really pretty. Okay, but you, you want to make sure you have the tail of the hearts going. Well, that's where right you way. come in, Phil. Okay. Well, you put the dots where you want them. I'll do the dot to dot, and you can tell me how okay. to do it. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna come down. Come down. Okay. There you go. That's probably good. Yep, that's all I'm doing there. Just three. I'm going over here. So, okay, now we want those to come down, correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Pretty cool. Yeah, it is. It, it's a nice accent. So okay, now, in the middle, you're coming like three straight, two or three straight down. And then, and then I'm going to curve. Two or three curve that way and curve down that way. Correct. Okay. All right. I just got to watch so I don't drip. Well, you're holding it. Yeah, you're holding it over. But yeah, be, be very careful. Well, if I do it backwards, I'm not going to be able to see I know, what I'm doing. I know. Wait, I got too much on here now. This is very, very tricky, people. You don't want to drip on your canvas. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, bring the cup over. I don't have enough. Come on. Where's one of my clean ones? 
I need a new one? Yeah, I'm gonna do a new one. There we okay. go. I just, cause you wanna have them like round. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now we're gonna bring that one down first before we do the other ones. Okay. Okay, now. Maybe I shouldn't do any more. Well, let me look at it from my, my way. Because I really like it. I should maybe just a couple. I would say... Three? Yeah, maybe do three and three going... Don't touch so close. Maybe down what do you think? here more or up here more. Well, I would think you'd start... Uh, up at the edge and just just do three going towards that purpley and then three going towards because i was going to go here yeah and then here if you think you can match them okay oh no i don't want to overdo it because i think it's really pretty with just enough of an accent okay i think that's fine yeah oh this thing is don't I, touch it i won't I'm, it's really pretty i yeah i don't want to overdo it with the hearts because i think it's just enough yes to you know, catch your eye. Right. You don't want to take away from the blooms. Exactly. The blooms are, are so exactly. nice, vibrant. This is really, it turned out really pretty, people. This is so fun. Um, just try this. And uh, like I always say, it's only paint. If you don't like your creation, you can just scrape it. It's only paint. I had a lot of fun doing this. Um, I love doing this. I I love my hearts. I think the hearts really set it off. Really pretty cool. And um, I hope you learned something today by me uh, doing this. And don't be afraid of color. Use color. If you like color, don't be afraid of it because this is the, what you get. So everybody, until the next time, I hope you enjoyed this. It was a lot of fun for me. And uh, We'll see you all tomorrow, alligators. Bye-bye. It's vibrant and elegant, understated, really, really beautiful.